and You're talking a me. To um have had no realize that uh, Bobby. We separated it as the same. Let's see, and but we lost, we lost Jesse and Dennis, and you know he he she wanted me here for him, and I'm looking at he's. Um, I just wanted to let him know that I love him very much. I and mean, there's a strong bond there because of everything that's happened in the Third Reich all these years. He's in pain and experience. And he kicks my ass. We, we're considered a genius. Not he is the man, and he and you know who you are. Um, Ultra Boy when he was. And um, he's Catholic, obviously, and I believe he's with the beautiful. He and we are a minute apart. Mm -hmm. At the UCLA Medical Center in 1974, before it became the Ronald Reagan Hospital. And then UCLA Medical Center, 0024. And um, if you see the name of the medical center, Grand of our grandmother, Abuelita Ernestina Ulloa Orozco, date of birth 8-14-1928 from Jalisco, Mexico. Oh, you heard me. We are all related to Anne Frank, our family, so they keep coming at us. You can hear that in the background of third floor. This The Ackerman Union closes that one. And they don't like it. They're always trying to discredit me. You know, I graduated from UCLA. You, Mexican, Italian, Catholic, and we all know that. And you're telling 
be um, taken out. And uh, I'm Sergeant Lieutenant Sylvia Lydia Morelos. I just earned my stripes. Um, very honored. And uh, my mom was Sergeant Lieutenant. And we're considered military, of course, because we fought these fuckers. Or that would be equal in our own backyard. That would be equal to the National Guard. The and our, our parents, they will know, were both police officers. They were police officers. They were both um, and, uh, federal H S. Uh, and I love it. And um, they were both um, military, war. Civil um, Atisa Garcia, date of birth 10. And William Jackie Rhodes was dishonorably discharged by her. Jay Johnson, and obviously, since Bono raped her in high school when she was 16. He raped her in, it's, it's not a story, it's Bono raped my mom when uh, they were in high school. And he raped her, you know, when she was 16, she found that he was alone. Him, right? That's what I'm hearing. And, you know, you say anything detrimental or derogatory. Unfortunately for Bono, it muy mono that Bono strikes out again. What are you going? He goes. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now, Bono? You're going to go. The fact that we're better than you, bitch. That piece of shit's got. Because he was an enemy of the state, he's a lot worse now. They can only play in certain venues. It's YouTube. Did like Abu Dhaka, who's another rapist in the middle. Awesome bomber. She took those fuckers out, and um, they came back. Look at this fucking idiot telling me here, you need to leave because it's closed. I haven't slept all night, or have not very slept. All night. That's sleep deprivation. That's sleep deprivation. Sleep deprivation is torture. They stole my money. They stole everything. My property. I reported Griffin accordingly, so he needs. Um, at the dentistry place, and he's a he poses a clear and present danger. He is told him that directly, and he left. Fellow police report online and everything. And this is what happens. Everything that happened afterwards because of him. Wilson included his Netanyahu's bitch, and we all hate. Don't get near my brother again, Netanyahu. And that's an that's a that's a, not an that's an ultimatum. That's a that's not a that's not a request. That's an order. And um, and my brother needs to be safe. And um, Jay Johnson's got issues. I heard him say, "Why is that bitch not dead yet?" Something like that. I'm like, you know what? Fuck him. He will go down, and so will Obama. A big fucking smile and say, "That's too bad, Obama." Bye bye, Obama. He will, he he's like I'm not going down like that, like, bitch. You are going down like that, punk. And he's a war criminal, and he will be he will be held accountable accordingly, and he will face the death penalty. He has to. Now, Third Reich is out. You don't like it, shove it. And when I say like this, Third Reich is out. And they're all Nazi shits so stalking us. And um, this is out of respect for my brother Bobby. I love you very much. I think nothing but highly of you, and very down to earth, and. Um, I think he's beautiful inside and out. And you're talking to me. He goes, you're talking to me. You're talking to me. You're talking to me. Oh, absolutely. And uh, my mom would have um, wanted me here for him. And hello. You're talking to me. You're talking to me. You're talking to me. I'm ecstatic that he's that he's around and alive. And um, and that he was all around and alive, and I'm hoping that, that they didn't uh, murder him because there's something going on on campus, and um, 
they tried to this mistaken identity shit, and I'm like, you know what? That's not funny. And he didn't have his vest on, from my understanding, and I'm here, and it's military, so they're always uh, this torture shit's got to go because my 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 freaking back is killing me, and um, I'm a female, so the torture, a regular sack. In 2009, they forced it out of me. Jay Johnson had everything to do with that. The Navy knows that. God bless them. And a metatarsal fracture. My brother was suffering from that too, and. He's been through a lot of pain, and I am eternally grateful that he has watched my back. Mm -hmm. It's my turn, and I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. And he better not be dead, because there will be hell to pay if he is, and because you fuckers know he doesn't deserve that. And you keep killing off innocent people, and I am sick of other these bastards. We want their money. We want more money. That money's not yours. That and you kill innocent people. You take away their the most precious lives that they are. You know, you take away you take away the most precious things from them. And to us, whatever that shit means to you, to what is shit when it comes to you, that you know that that's what family is to us. That's what family and my baby brother. That's what family is to us. And he has no reason to apologize for what he has. And uh, you know, because even with that money, he was. Horribly raped when he was a little boy, two years old, because of the money that he had, or Ronald Reagan, right? And um, he has every right. I mean, we've always been honest people, hardworking people. I, mean, I was working since I was 15. I was taught a work ethic and hard work since I was 15. Legally obtained a legal work permit. And this is what you do to people like myself. And we're descendants of Amelia Earhart. We have an interesting lineage. We're descendants of Amelia Earhart. And we're descendants of Anne Frank, and this is a Reagan family. Anne Frank, directly from Anne Frank. So they're coming at us with this hatred, like, you know, these backward people. And David Griffin is my mortal enemy. I didn't know that he was the one who did that to my baby brother. And, you know, he's um very noble. And um, after what they did to Jesse, it's just, you know, he's got, um, he's got a lot of good heart. And he's got a good heart. And um, I just wanted to let him know that I am in the third level Ackerman Lounge, and it's beautiful. And um, that looks like something our, that my, our mom did, that, that little bridge. She made it out of toothpicks. I remember I was in the fourth grade at Wilton Place Elementary School, and she made it out of white toothpick. She was a genius herself. And I'm very grateful for this room because it's like it gets dedicated to us and... Um, Myself and Bobby, or myself and Bobby, and um, look at that blue and yellow. Blue and yellow is our, our color, but um, I think Bobby will be comfortable. It's a place of respite. It's wonderful. It's a place of respite. And I appreciate that because of everything they put me through sleep deprivation, hunger, starvation. You need it. You meet you, uh, you name it. And. Um, it's uh, absolutely beautiful contemplation, meditation, prayer. Look at that. And it's wonderful. And I can only imagine the envy with these people. And, um, and, um, see, so it's on the third floor. Bruin Reflection Space, a place for contemplation, meditation, a non denominational space open to all Bruins only. Please be respectful and use wisely. More information available at Student Union Information on A level. Associated Studios at UCLA. We were in reflection a place for contemplation, meditation. It sounds like my lingo. God bless you guys. This community lounge is going to be dedicated for the use of UCLA students, faculty, and staff. So, um, Jesus tried to kick me out illegally. And obviously, it, it closes. I, I looked it up online. It closes at 1 in the morning. I mean, I used to pull an all nighter here before I graduated you know, at UCLA. I know what time the building closes. And just because David Griffin used to leave at 9 does not mean that the whole fucking school is going to shut down for him. He's a Nazi war criminal, and he needs to be treated accordingly. Anyone associated with David Griffin is already my bitch. And um, we've been dealing with you fuckers since we were kids, and you didn't see us coming because we didn't want you to, okay? And these people have been telling us, you didn't do anything about your family. So many people died. We we killed so we killed but we still were effective, weren't weren't, weren't we, Sylvia? And I yell at my identity thing. We, we were still effective, weren't we, Sylvia? We still killed many people, weren't we? Didn't we, Sylvia? Many kikes and shit. 
And um, and my, you know, I came out at the at the time that I was supposed to, and boom, blew it out of the water with the exposure. I'm good at exposure diffusion through exposure. And they come at me more so when they realize that my battery is low on my computer or on my laptop. And it's very cowardly, large numbers of people, and cars included. They wanted a third wreck so bad. That's too fucking bad. It was supposed to happen in January of 2017. That's too bad. I remember a quote by Dr. Martin Luther King, who he himself was dealing with these bastards in the 60s, along with my mom and my grandmother, fighting Obama and the white supremacy bastards. Same people. Did time in Birmingham, Alabama against the same people. And um, my brother Bobby, um, I wanted him to know, I wanted you to know that mom loved you very much and grandmother loved you very much and dad obviously loved you very much. And the reason, you know, that um, she wasn't around was because she was in a lot of pain. And we've been dealing with Nunez's and Wilson bastards since uh, I think it was in elementary school, and um, it looks like, and and uh, they haven't. They've been stalking us for years. They need to die legally. It's legal, and they've been. They need to die. And um, they're gonna try to, f to find some stupid excuse to get us kicked off of campus. They don't have a right to do that because uh, we have a legal, a legitimate right to be here. You know, I'm a student here. We've got some problem makers. This section is pretty usually empty, so um, the illegals are um, <clears throat> illegally um, harassing and stalking. So that's the, if you heard that, that's what they usually do. And if you can uh, help with the, from the community, you see the community and report these bastards when they're on us, we'd really appreciate it, Bobby and I. Um, if you reported it to dhs.gov. Uh, no, local law enforcement doesn't help. Uh, DHS.gov, 1-866-DHS-2-ICE. You remember, if you call 911, get a dispatch number, and get a police officer who actually will do his job, that'd be great. Because David Griffin should not have been sitting his ass down there at, a, at the, at the, at the uh, union station, at the union level station for, for this long. He should have been taken off a long time ago. If he's allowed to come back here after everything we've been put through because of him, and his friends occupies in is in the union building at, at the uh, Panda Express, and they just sit there and eat, and, and they shove it in my face that they stole from me. They started wearing black dresses because they stole everything in me, and they, they said it came through, and they didn't say they came from David Griffin. He told them to steal from me my blanket, my coat, DKNY, and um, the freak with the... Um, cardboard underneath uh, him at the uh, where I was sleeping in Santa Monica showed up and it was the same type of freak that sleeps next to him with the cardboard and uh, at uh, 1620 Westwood Boulevard 90024 so he's extremely dangerous anyone hanging out with him will be guilty by association he had some nerve to ask me do you go to church and he meant the Catholic church he goes to some Catholic church he's not supposed to be in there he's looking for trouble so he's not supposed to be going to the church Catholic church and anyone around him a friend of his is in trouble too um, and you stay the hell away from Bobby because you fuckers haven't let go. Your greed, your greed, always your filthy fucking greed, you filthy fucking rich. FDR must have had a shitload of uh, antagonism towards you. Then I'm thinking filthy rich. The only the filthy want to be rich. They only think about the only all, everything they've ever owned is to the blood of some innocent person, including their heart transplants and their liver transplants. Now talk about some walking evil. You don't have a soul, man. You're walking around with people that you've murdered. You know exactly who I'm talking to. You're walking around with people that you've murdered in the past, minorities. And that's like world market. It wasn't enough with worldmarket.com. You know, you actually, you know, did this and say, I will write him down as an, I will write him or her down as an organ donor. Organ donor. And they're walking around with someone else's heart. They're walking around with someone else's liver. And um, you'd be surprised what come out, what comes out. And that's hence Sally. That's why I make fun of Sally because she's one of them. You'd be surprised what comes out in the, in the resource centers because they were in the Warsaw ghetto. In the Warsaw ghetto here are the resource centers and the uh, shelters. And, and Santa Monica is unincorporated. That's Tea Party USA. That's in East Parker. And East Parker had my problems with my mom too. So and she has friends in Lafayette, Louisiana. 
Kamala Harris is a problem in the local police. I think you've got about everything on video and it's legal. And it's for Mr. Gregory Slocum. This is all, you know, also a voter killed so many innocent voters because they were patriotic. One person said they dumped a bunch of I voted stickers after the fact on top of a voter, a registered voter's grave. And here's it, all of them here in the basket. Here's your fucking bitch, you, your little I voted stickers and over of someone's grave because they were so patriotic and they were so happy to have voted and a bunch of red I voted stickers over their graves. I hear a little patriotic shit and I was furious. That's the Obama administration. That's Jay Johnson. That's Hillary Clinton. That's the Tea Party. That's all the people we pointed out. Netanyahu, obviously. All those motherfuckers I pointed out. David Griffin, all of them. And all the fucking Occupy movement at Venice Beach, Yolanda Carter, all of them. Got Kevin Gaines, Kevin, what's his name? Kevin Gaines, program manager at OPCC. They're giving out resources like crazy to people who don't deserve them, and they hook up. They hook them up at OPCC, 503 Olympic Boulevard, 90401, and they kick out minorities and mock them and their pain and their hunger, and uh, they need to be held accountable. You know, and then they send uh, retaliation troops my way and Bobby's way. We're, we're, into, we're into saving lives and public safety. We've been doing it for a long time, all our lives in Bobby's case. And, um, and I was trained. Uh, my mom was Sergeant Lieutenant Civil Letizia Garcia, and my grandmother was also, and she trained my mom. So I lived um, I lived until I was 14 years old with my mom, and then my, mom, my grandmother raised me from 14 to 18 afterwards. And uh, we lost a lot of family. I lost my parents. So did Bobby. We lost our parents. We lost Jesse, who had Tourette's syndrome. They ganged up on him and raped him and butchered him. A lot of us know that in San Dimas. Bono was involved, obviously, and so was David Griffin. He mentioned it not too long ago, and mocking me. I, I don't appreciate it. And um, David Griffin was involved in Jesse's death, yes. And it's a... And um, there's just so much coming my way sometimes. It's kind of like, oof, you know, and I would appreciate the community's cooperation in, re in, in reporting him because they go after people when they're down at their lowest or when they're weak or hungry and starve them and they mock them and everything. That's why I was questioning him today and he's like, um, you know, you're the reason I'm not eating. You're the reason that um, I don't have any, any money because you keep depleting it from my account because his friends. And my stuff was stolen. I called a police report. And uh, what do I do? What would you suggest I do? He goes, buy another blanket, he said to me in my face. I'm like, bye-bye. You need to leave, I told him afterwards. You, you need to just leave and buy another blanket. It's freezing cold, you know. He stole my blanket. He stole my jacket. He stole my towels. And there's an orange towel in front of me because he knew I'd be back eventually just mocking my towel. They, they stole my blue blanket as well. And uh, I had two two blankets. One was a blue blanket. The other one was one with a with a uh, football on it. it Reminded me a lot of Bobby. It was a little toy. And he can have that one if he has it. Hopefully, he got it back. And he, they, from my understanding, he they dropped, they stole it from me and dropped it somewhere. And then someone else picked it up. And um, it's also on property. And Bobby has my permission to access anything of mine. And um, any day, 24 hours a day, it's Sylvia Lydia Morelos. It is for Bobby, my brother, and any um, name he's using right right now with Secret Service. No one else has any right to anything of that. No one but Bobby. And that's for Bobby. This is live in living color. That's in that's underscoring it and in, in, uh, permanently. There are no no exceptions. No one can access anything of mine but Bobby. That would, that would be all inclusive Fourth Amendment rights. And that's Bobby. My name is Sylvia Leticia Morelos. Date of birth 42074. I was born at 4:29 p.m. He was born at 4.28 p.m., so he's only a minute younger than I am. And that was a surprise to me because they kept mocking, don't get near her, don't get near her to help her, don't get near her to help her or will hurt her. She goes, she can afford it. We killed all her family. And if you heard the noise back there, they will be held accountable on fire. There's security cameras all over the, the, the campus, obviously. These people are responsible for the rapes on college campuses nationwide and worldwide. It goes back to the University of Lafayette, Louisiana, where they all graduated from 7053. Graduated. They don't even 70503. They don't even know what a syllabus is. So if they made it to pass one semester and lied about it, I'd be surprised. So they, they all want to move up, hook up and move up, and they're not going to. We're not letting them.
the world needs to know what they're doing and obviously well they already know they want to start mating with normal people again like I told you you're not getting anywhere near anyone normal their women don't get pap smears because they don't believe in them they've never had a pap smear and I hear this past week or so there's been this huge increase in pap smear appointments um, they've never they don't believe in pap smears Ugh. walking fucking diseases nasty bitches and their men are the ones screwing them so they're not getting anywhere near us and David Griffin needs to be needs to stay away from Westwood period and Santa Monica so he needs to go and um, and Kevin Gaines needs to behave because retaliation, I need to find my resources and retaliation is against the law. So if I need to go back to uh, OPCC, 503 Olympic Boulevard, uh, tomorrow or whenever to eat, he needs to back off because this is a fact. I am now also a whistleblower. I received my paycheck, which Occupy tried to get in the way of Nancy Dressing in particular, I think. 145. This is for Department of Elections. Look at the date, 06, 16, 20, and it was June 7th primary. I got it a week. And um, 145, there's a number. Mr. Gregory, Gregory Slocum, S-L-O-C-U-M, has my permission to let the public know what my job entailed, what my job entailed that I got paid, that I'm a legitimate, um, was a legitimate, I was a legitimate um, employee for the prim June prim 7 primary. And um, I got my check. So, and uh, according to the poll worker manual, my job is to protect the U.S. Constitution 24/7, and my job is to also protect the voters' bill of rights. And um, everything they do also has to do with killing off voters, killing off Republicans. I mean, you want to kill off Republicans? Here's another person of interest. This is going live. These are the people we need to take off of campus. Facilities management included, which is what they are. They have the keys to everything. And uh, my job is to protect the Constitution 24-7. And um, they are the resource centers walking around with bags, um, colorful bags, and they represent the uh, voting bags that are used. Um, if you look at the poll worker manual, that's what they're walking around with. They're supposed to be kept at the precinct only. The deputy sheriff is the one who's supposed to be picking them up only. Everything remains, let me re underscore this, everything is supposed to remain at the precinct. They're walking around with shit. They're used to killing off people and getting paid for it. Free social services, free SROs, that's the end of the month. So free, you know, let's hook them up. That's OPCC. I found that and they've been doing it for years, come to find out. So now I know why Bono broke my glasses with Jose Antonio Morelos a few years back in Santa Monica. They, they literally they, um, sewed right through my glasses. She won't be able to work. She won't be able to vote. And that was a year and a half ago. So I took the poll worker exam and I obtained a 90% in spite of lack intimidation in the background. They were walking around with wheels in the hallway. I could hear them. I didn't have my glasses on, so I was squinting. And I could hear... Through the NSA, I could hear Clifford Karimi, a.k.a. Miguel Oaks. <laughs> you know, his little voice there, and, and Alice, I could see Alice Chu, and I'm like, that's a lot of... With, and according to the poll worker manual, the poll worker test, I have a right to take that test without intimidation and with privacy. And I had to squint, and then I looked at the bottom, I have 30 minutes to work with, so I was under an extreme amount of stress, because prior to that, the Democrats tried to assassinate me again before I got to the... To the uh, to apply for the poll worker job. And on April 19th was another attempt. And, and during that month, April, I was they tried to assassinate me three times. And as these were the Democrats. And I found out that I read online, I was looking for stuff online. The Democrats had a Democratic convention on the 19th of April in San Francisco. I kid you not, same day. Look at Jay Johnson going crazy because they look like shit. They look worse now. They are always going to look worse because you didn't know how to take no for an answer. And that is the nature of a rapist, isn't it? I find your Lori's Diner, Jay Johnson, 24 hours at Union Square, San Francisco, you psychopath. Um, inside the Union's Diner at uh, Union Square, San Francisco, Lori's Diner, is Jay Johnson wearing that little... Uh, hat of his and looking at the children across the way and everything they've always done. Theo is the other one and someone implicated himself that he's related to Thea so there you go. 
you talk a lot. It's they talk a lot of shit, and um, I wouldn't find out a lot if they didn't know how to keep their mouth shut. FYI, and it's useful to me because you're stealing from me. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do my homework. So um, this is for Bobby. They um, pretty much had everything to do with the rape of Holcomb. I I inspired her from my understanding because I I saw online that she wore. She wore two of these black ones on her right wrist, like, like I do, and um, they raped her and they killed her. And um, yeah, these people have done a lot of harm to a lot of good people. And she was an aspiring, promising young student. Hate crimes. Know your rights. Does a victim of the crime? Crime victims. Know your rights. And this is per the district attorney, Los Angeles County, Jackie Lacey. I just picked this up recently. Please report David Griffin, OPCC staff, all of them, 503 Olympic Boulevard 90401, uh, Victim of the Bono and U2, Wilson and Benjamin Netanyahu, and Jose Jesus, he'll be coming out of here soon. David Griffin, they're all sending and stealing and committing horrible crimes. Incredible. People know who know me know that. That's why they've done my work online for years. And the community by nature doesn't... Um, sell out the good guys and obviously they're, they're appreciative of what we've done uh, Bobby and I look at that it's a place of respite since they torture me so much and sleep deprivation they know what they've done mm -hmm. they know Bobby would be really happy to know. they better not touch Bobby because they're in for a they're in for a, my school obviously likes me so um, David Griffin, better not do anything about that again. He's pretending to be a Marine. The first time he caught my attention, he's marrying. He has a goddamn nerve to wear a Marine's hat. So I thought he was a Marine. And um, I asked him about it. He, is like, he says he, he's on SSA. He's not on, he's not, he doesn't receive veterans benefits, VA benefits at all. And it's my check. I actually earned it. And, um... He's on SSA, Social Security benefits. He's not on VA benefits, so he's obviously not a veteran. And um, this is a police report, a police report of that, that I filed with um, the West LA Police Department. Incident number 160709002164 in West LA Division. Report of battery at 503 Olympic Boulevard, 90401. This is for Officer Celis, C E L I S, 41635. This is a separate incident from today. And um, you can see it. There we go. That's a police report. And I've, I've um, spoken to Mr. Officer Celis before in, in, a, in a previous occasion. This is my police report. They're trying to steal my, they said, I heard him say, there's nothing of value here. They're, they're trying to steal my bag, steal my police report, see what they can do about it, erase some things like that. It's peace song number 890. It's important to have police reports. Like according to the uh, CAT report here, um, please contact the investigation unit, and you can use information such as video evidence of the incident. Video evidence is um, acceptable at, for CAT reports and incident reports, see. In San Francisco, and if it applies to San Francisco Police Department, which we're working together, then it would apply to everywhere else. Bono is involved with the corruption at Ocean Park Inn. If you see that, that's in the Mormon book. Bono's uh, filthy foot. I only see three like that. And um, and my brother Bobby, I love him to death. I know I babble on and on sometimes, but. Uh, Everything. I love this bag. I'm very grateful for the bag. Mm, Bobby included. Target rocks. Mm -hmm. I saw the bag. It looks like the other one that was losing. Uh, look at that. My country didn't love me. They wouldn't let me know. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Everything I bought at Target with that bag, they stole, finally. And the, the black dresses that I wore, two of them started wearing them today, walking into the Ackerman, literally, security cameras, literally walking in there mocking me. Mocking my hunger. David Griffin had everything to do with that. And, um, 
Got the name of the lady. So that. These perps are at the uh, OPCC with a big freaking cross on their on their backs. The ones that are trying to hurt me there too. And um, anyway, um, I wanted to let Bobby know that I'm. I was. Uh, I wanted to show him something. And I know it's faith is private, but um, I was thinking about him earlier today, and when I was in the grass, and and if you could see this, these I've I've um, worn out these uh, sandals, and I was thinking about the other night when uh, they took that they lied about the Ocean Park Hotel on 32nd Street and Ocean Park, and I walked out and I was feeling bad because of how much evil there is in the world, and I was just crying about it, and you know the the sandals were like this, right? And um, and I realized that he was uh, God has a sense of humor, and this is when I carried you, you know. And <laughs> now he does that sometimes a lot. And today with her Bobby, I think he hears him that you know he's trying, and he knows he loves him very much. And um, and in this case, you know, I was I was thinking about Bobby, and the, the sky was shining with the sun, and um, you see the bottom and inside it says um, love, and that's from the Lord, love. His love. That's for Bobby. He's aware that Bobby has um, pick up your cross and pick up your cross and follow me. Look at that. And he's been doing it since he was a little boy. And um, and uh, that's it's just that he's letting him know I'm aware, you know, and I love you, and um, I can see what you've you know how you've done, and you know, and love, you know, and uh, look at that. And I wanted him to see that. In the back of it got to me because if anyone knows about my metatarsal fracture with the shoes that I used to wear in Texas, which would be a Z2, the one that I had when I had my metatarsal fracture, I was wearing shoes that I bought in Texas. And um, when I when I when I um I was reading the Jesus Calling book with me too, and um, I sat down and I was walking with the shoes that. Um, that tied around, and I bought them right next to uh, in Texas, and uh, and they were uh, a, a huge. They were they were um, someone something. I bought a bigger size and a men's size so that I could uh, fit, and it saved my life. And uh, these are the shoes that I wore when I had the metatarsal fracture, and and um, I looked at the bottom part, and it looked exactly like this, except that it has something here, like a little ball or something. And um, he's letting Bobby know, look, there's three of them. I only see three. Look, one, two, three. Responsible for his metatarsal fracture. Look at that. That's what I was looking at. He's a miracle, a beautiful miracle, and and it's just specifically for him. I see you. I love you. I hear you, and uh, and uh, it's a miracle that he needed and to, to validation and you know and uh, there was something else like the the wet sitting next to it like the, where, you know like this one that was that was funny and he just wanted George just wanted to let him know. That uh, he is loved and he's he's appreciated by the Lord and he's um a mis spokesperson. We're Catholic. They hate us because we're Catholic Jews, Mexican Italians, and very and educated. And it says love on here. Look at that. And um, this is when I carried you. As in, as was also said, that would also be for him. All the pain he's been through, the Lord acknowledges it, and he saw that as a miracle. <laughs> You're talking to me? You're talking to me? Look at that. He's talking to you. He's talking to you. He's a pequeño. Look at that. Pick up your cross and carry and follow me. Look at that. He was a little boy. He's worn it up and he's still there. Solid. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And it says love. He's letting you know. It says here literally the word love. Look at that. Look at that. You can hear him. You can see in his heart. You can see. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. And then on the other side, that got to me too, because it's like the metal tarsal fractures that I had, the shoes that I wore. And I turned it around, and had no bolita aquí. 
Oh, and my grandmother were they were really they were in so much pain. That's why they were they didn't know, you know, we were figuring it. So I look at them and I go, they wanted me here for you. They wanted you. You're talking to me. I'm talking to you. You're not going to do it. It is real. They knew that he was autistic since he was a little boy. He had autism. He has autism. And um, they went after him because he was autistic, and they knew when he was vulnerable with his little, without his little earpiece. And they like to get a kick out of raping autistic children or with Tourette syndrome children. And um, they were both very noble. He's very noble, just like Jesse and Dennis. Dennis, a beautiful little boy. He ended up by an antipsychotics because um, they raped him and hurt him so badly. Had to take and they killed him. In Alameda, Bono included, and Diana Almanza was involved in that, from what I understand. And uh, yeah, they went down the way they went down and how they went down over and over and over again. And um, Bobby and I are still here, and it's a blessing because I didn't realize he was still here. So I'm walking around, maybe something with a stick up my butt, but you know, I'm used to being by myself, you know, and and um. I'm very conscientious and letting Bobby know I come from a place of excruciating pain and experience, but I wasn't two years old. I wasn't two years old, and I can only imagine. <laughs> but it's very painful for me to, to see what these bastards do, knowing what he's been through. And he is still there, and he was still a trooper, and he's still caring about other people because we don't want people to go through that. We don't want people to know what kind of horror the Nazi shit is. And... Um, they didn't do anything all these years. That's not true, you know. And um, if anything, we took you fuckers down, mm -hmm. and um, we didn't make you aware of it. We didn't make you aware of it. And um, but we killed so many people. We saved a lot more lives the way we did, it. and we lost seven members of our family alone. Period. So I love Bobby very much, and nothing better happened to him. Mm -mm. He's dedicated his whole heart and his life to this, and. We don't want people to suffer. We don't want people to hurt. And with money or without money, we're Reagans. We kick butt, huh, Bobby? <laughs> That's for Bobby. And God says, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. No matter what, he loves you. And he hurt you. Look at that. Finish with it, you know. And, and look at that. Look at that. That's for Bobby. There's always miracles happening, you know. And with me the other night, he sensed that I was hurting, so um, look at that. This is even then, this is when I carried you, even <laughs> the worst of times. <laughs> you keep taking the roof over our head, sleep deprivation, starvation, you name it. And I'm a female, I know what pain is, Kevin. I know what pain is and what evil is, David Griffin. I, I, I look at evil in the eye every fucking day, Occupy. And Sally and Diana, and it, never, and it never ceases to amaze me how evil you people are. You're working around with other people's liver, organ donors, and other people's, innocent people's blood, you know, and liver and um, heart transplants. And they consider that the youth fountain, the fountain of youth, how they change their looks. And I think they're walking, talking. They're walking, talking, soulless creatures. They have no soul, no conscience. You're not. You can't expect them to. You no, know, I mean, there's. You know, technically they should, but they don't stop. At all. Yeah, they have no conscience. They're used to living that way. Greed, 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 greed. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. And and uh, mom loved him, dad loved him, grandmother loved him. They were in a lot of pain though, and they they didn't want to hurt you anymore. They didn't want they didn't want you to hurt. They didn't want you to hurt. And he's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful person. Beautiful, and I see him as my little brother, but actually I'm his little sister. I'm a minute older than he, a minute younger than he is. We were born fraternal twins, identical, and my mom kept it away from me. And um, there may be more to it than that because um, maybe he wasn't supposed to find out or maybe somebody found out. I don't know. But they're very malicious people. The malice is brutal. The malice is very brutal. 
And he's a decorated war hero, right? And he is a he's a you know a, a Secret Service top notch. Nancy Drew says we only go after top notch. Why the fuck would we go after a shit like you? And um, they tell the community or other people if it wasn't for top notch people like them, police officers, military, and FBI. The rest of you wouldn't survive. The rest of you wouldn't make it. The rest of you wouldn't have safety. The rest of you wouldn't survive. They only go after us, and we keep getting up, and we're dealing with literally dealing with zombies. They're walking around with someone else's heart. And like, if if, if that's not evil, I don't know what is. And all they think about is their looks. They just want to impress someone with their looks. And, um, and that is evil. Anyway, the starvation, you know, he tried to give me a notice to leave. What is this? Here we go. And um, this was David. Kevin tried to reissue this and make it effective today. I actually did one week away from here back then in 2015. I never returned after this. So much pain. And it says Silva Morales. I didn't even get my name right. Silva Morales. 11-25-2015, and it says here, that's all it says, that's everything it says, six months, but I, I um, he wanted to apply it today, but I'm like, um, then he said he changed his mind and said, no, we're good, it's not going to be effective, and he said that, um, if, you know, he first said that if anything else happened that he would, malice. They're making fun of Latinos too. Technically, I would probably be taking a nap right now. That's what the, this is what they do. The security cameras are on. They use something illegal like the NSA. This is Kevin Gaines. The timing is everything, huh? And we all know this is the Universalist Church. It doesn't help their situation any. And that would be the Patriots and the parking meters. We got them. Parking meters, one we'll we'll look at that. That's in, in front of the rescue mission at 140 Turk Street, 94103. Look at that. The Universalist Church at uh, Dien Almanza is involved as well. Look at that. Yes, in front of you, look at the, the meter, the window. The meter. They also killed and raped Marilyn Monroe. If you look at the, the pictures, the pictures that I took of Marilyn Monroe, the pictures that I took of Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe at Mel's Diner, Fourth and Mission. So the community can help report these women. I really appreciate it. They're, they'll be out in the uh, A-level macroman. There's two of them, from what it sounds like. And get them fired, get them off of here, um, period. It's against the law what they're doing. People know me for what I do, and they know that I'm honest and hardworking, so... Or it's a male and a female. And so their obstruction of justice is what it's called. And according to Ackerman online, I did my homework, and this lounge closes at 1 a.m. There's nothing they can do about it. I will ask them to call the police, and then we'll have it out. These are Jesus' friends. My school made this room for me. Mi escuela me hizo este, este, no les gusta, váyanse al diablo, perros. This, move, this room was made for, for me. Because we saved lives. Stupidos. You'll find out. Motherfuckers. These are the illegals that we need to go after. Watch what they do when they leave. Everything they, everyone they hang out with, they associate with is guilty by association. 
they're white supremacists, they're also illegal, so they need to be kicked out and fired without a paycheck, no paycheck, zero paycheck. At Will Employment, the Wall Street Journal, the San Francisco Chronicle, the LA Times, the Nation, Associated Press, I'd really appreciate your help in getting these people, the workers right now, because they're trying to devastate again. They've done it before, too. So according to the letter, and they're doing it on behalf of David Griffin and OPCC, so that doesn't help the situation any. That would include Jesus on the third floor of Ackerman Union. But anyway, this is not to, this is not taking effect, according to uh, David. Uh, I mean Kevin, Kevin. Um, according to Kevin Gaines, program manager, this is not taking effect at all. I already put all that information online that it quotes at 1 a.m. Sounds like she's threatening me. They're just facilities management. They're the ones who end up opening up the keys to the dorm rooms. And the high percentage rate of rapes on campus are committed by people like this. They have access to all the rooms in the dorms. And they're also EULA grads, University of Lafayette, Louisiana. And David Maldonado would know because his counterpart works at Stem Cell LACC. Jose Barrosio and Stem Cell NYU, James Ellerbach. Um, they all work. They they work at uh, the next door shelter via Episcopal Church, Universalist Church, Episcopal Church, Jehovah Witness, Salvation Army is who these belong to. They need to be kicked out ASAP. They think they're powerful and they're just ghetto maintenance workers. I think they just called a walkie-talkie into someone to come and harass me out of here, and, and, and it says in the lounge that I, I'm able to stay here until 1 in the morning. Let's see what happens. Huh? It's live worldwide. And according to this, you were involved in an incident at the Access Center. They know someone there, obviously. A project of OPCC. This was uh, date of notice 12-1-2015. Silva, S-I-L-V-A, Morales, M-O-R-A-L-E-S. The welfare office needs to know that Diana Almanza is trying to get them into trouble again. And she knows who I'm talking about because I met her in person. Um, you punched another female client in the face inside the Schwa Schlotz women's restroom. This type of behavior is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. The access center must maintain a safe and secure environment for all of its participants at all times. Because of this incident, a staff decision has been made regarding your participation in services at the OPCC Access Center Schwa Schlotz program. The team has agreed that choose an item. This choose an item... This time out for, from service six months, stipulations are applicable. I think they're making fun of my verbosity you want to be. And the workers in the back are involved, so they're not getting a paycheck. I'm going to make sure of it. It looks like they're going to get money from David Griffin's direct deposit bank account. From I understand, David Griffin um, gives direct deposit to Bono as well. He gets money from David Griffin. Um, Bono, a.k.a. Um, Bono, David Paul Houston gets direct deposit from David Griffin. He probably does it for these bitches, too. Please note that the following decision has been made regarding your mail services. Effective immediately, you will be unable to receive mail to Access Center. Attached to this notice of action, you will find both the meal program list and a resource list. Like I said, attached to this notice of action, you will find both a meal program list and a resource list for other places to access services in the area. During your timeout, you are not allowed to loiter on Olympic Boulevard in front of the Access Center. This notice is effective as of the date you receive it. You have a right to file a grievance if you do not agree with its decision. If you wish to file a grievance, you may ask for an appointment to meet with the Assistant Director. And this is per Kevin Gaines, 12-1-15. KG, we, what, if he fits the profile. I'm with DHS. We all know what this is about. And this is the rescue mission on in front of the uh, 
They Kill Patriots, 10606. And it's also on the side of the Universalist Bible. That's with um, Anna Ayala at the B-Level Library. I put all those pictures online so the uh, FBI and CAA, they can all connect it together. And so they've got that. If anything happens to me, all those people are involved. And including these two people up here. No more harassment watch. And these illegals are trying to get me kicked out. Jay Johnson can go fuck himself. He needs to be held accountable. Obama needs to be held accountable. And I am not leaving my own campus. Thank you. This is bitch trophy wife needs to be held accountable. And the NSA, they're involved with illegal technology. They're already getting the death penalty for that. But the NSA is illegal technology. And it's considered torture on, on military people, military heroes like me. I'm already considered a veteran, so... And they're trying to worry the shit out of Bobby. That's what they usually do. And um, yeah, they can easily be shot when they leave. I'm looking forward to it too. So I like the given reason they have it. These are considered crímenes de odio. And uh, folleto de recursos, departamento de policía de Los Angeles. These people are involved. The ones in the background include crímenes de odio. And this is um, LAPD. Fuckers. Yeah, David Griffin's gonna get his ass kicked if he keeps it up. Plenty of witnesses he was talking to me up there. Your feedback would be appreciated. Thank you. In San Francisco. Had one of his own in red checkered shirts. And he had one other one on an OPCC. The real one was hanging out here. I got him kicked off of uh, UCLA. And she's de deliberately depriving me of getting any sleep, that one. And I will ask for them to call the cops. And they will lose, because I already checked what time this place closes. This is for Bobby. Maybe you can see the security cameras, 911, I really appreciate it. In the building, um, these illegals need to be fired as soon as possible. They find out what their background is. They belong to a fundamentalist church. They're usually associated with staff at one of the resource centers, including San Francisco. They're usually promised free services with Diana Almanza is one, Frederick J. Paul is another one in Houston, possibly. And um, he's a coyote in uh, Texas, so they want one for the border. They're not going to leave the country, actually. So six million illegals detained in the United States for crimes against humanity. They're not going anywhere. And um, they want to just commit crimes and leave. I'm not allowing it. 911, if you can, uh, they'll probably be in a parking lot. The security cameras at parking lots need to be made aware. And this is DHS, that's what I'm with, Naturalization Service. And I really appreciate feedback from the community and um, help from the community. And cause they're, they're adamant about my not getting any sleep, man. Our fuckers are done. They're crime victims, you know your rights. I graduated from UCLA, so I have my bachelor's degree from here, so it's not like I'm loitering on campus, because um, I'm in the UCLA alumni directory, so they're fucked. And it says specifically that this room is for UCLA alumni only, and they're, now, they're no longer staff, so they can't be here. What the fuck with a college grad, bitch? We all know about the plastic bag with the, with the umbrella red drop, bloody drops at Eula. She just implicated herself. She's done. Oh, Would you please report? She might be a friend of the sheriffs in Santa Monica, California. I need to report the sheriff's department to ICE.gov. We can please report them for all of the above. Check them off. All of the above right now would be greatly appreciated. They need to be held accountable for being involved in this too. Sheriff's Department, LAP, Sheriff's Department, Los Angeles, in, in Santa Monica included. That is police brutality. She's waiting for me to turn off the camera. I'm not going to do it. And she's responding accordingly.
You need to know who her boss is. I need to report him to. She she walkie talkies on the over the walkie talkie right now. They're committing other abuses. They've starred other people. They've done it to others, so they need to be held accountable because they have done it to before. It, this it, this comes too easy for people to just do and get away with. So. I clean house for a while. No paycheck. She just committed civil rights violations, so she's not getting her paycheck at all. Neither is anyone else. I'll make sure of it. My name is Morelos, not Morales. Pendeja, estupidos. Pendeja ilegal son ustedes perros. Diga vieja. We can all hear her. The NSA, we can. This is going live worldwide. Perra. They're making fun of Mexicans too. That's exactly why they do that. My job is to protect the U.S. Constitution, the Voter Bill of Rights, and my school. I am a UCLA grad, a deep graduate from UCLA. Anyone they associate with is also guilty by association. They are no longer normal working people. They are now criminals. And people know me. They know me for years. They know that um, I don't lie. I would appreciate the uh, feedback, I mean, the community reporting them when you see them. You know, you'll be able to see them via security cameras. And if their bosses are involved, that would be greatly appreciated. It's called torture, sleep deprivation. So I need to get my sleep, whether they like it or not. That's an alienable to food rights, to food, hygiene, and shelter. And these are the illegals taking advantage of the situation. They're no longer free. So she's waiting for me to turn off the camera. I'm not doing it. This place is great. It's a respite for me, too. Idiots. Jay Johnson's waiting, war criminal that he is. He's a class clown, by the way. The Dairy King. He's depicted in Lori's 24 7 Union Square. We might like these idiots are from San Francisco, so they're in trouble if they are. Friends and family included. I don't think this is even their cleaning time either. Their schedule and all oh, look, she's intimidating me, and I think we all know what I've caught that on YouTube before. So the noises that they're making, so she's in the restroom now. You should get no paycheck committing civil rights violations. 911. This is stemming from the program that was out there on the field with the lights going off earlier. This is Wilson and Benjamin Netanyahu's people. They're in serious trouble. Everybody say, fuck Benjamin Netanyahu. That fucking war criminal is done. That's per USA and friends.
world can hear the NSA and everything you're saying with it. So we've been looking for that technology to begin with. David Griffin is not coming back, period. Put the ship in and not come back at all. You do not go to Catholic Church. You, yeah, you can uh, please, it's extremely dangerous. He'll be doing this at the Catholic Church as he's infiltrating, 911. Because my like these bastards go there too. You're allowed to be allowed in the Catholic Church, David Griffin and his friends. Griffin, G R I F F I N. I'm a Catholic myself. He's there to persecute Catholics. They use 520 as a reference point to persecute Christians at University of Lafayette 7050. Anti-Defamation League, Southern Poverty Law Center, Twitter, Google, please help, 911. That's so good, Lydia Murdoch, Sergeant Lieutenant, my Bobby, my brother Bobby should be, I wonder if he's still alive. U.S. Department of Homeland Security, Amnesty International, Human Rights Violations, this is Attorney's Office of Los Angeles. They keep wanting to prevent me from getting in touch with Bobby, literally face to face, so. That's what they did to Jesse. Jesse ended up dead in San Dimas. He's our brother, so yeah, they were involved in San Dimas. It's not a coincidence that they're up here. And it's not our doing. The good guys don't entrap anyone. They probably have a big mouth. Don't want to keep their fucking mouth shut. They're making fun of Mexicans again. They do that a lot. Um, William Reed is also responsible for raping um, Marilyn Monroe at 10606 Lock Loman Drive. I know 606. These people are involved with that too. Obviously, they just implicated themselves. These people are fucked. It's intimidation, harassment. UCLA doesn't want them. And I, I would know I graduated from them. They will not be hired anywhere else. No hires. None. Zero. Diana Almanza is fucked because she's promising, probably promising them work and free services in Houston. In San Diego and San Francisco, ever, they will be monitored 24-7. They're not going anywhere in life anymore. They will never earn a bloody dollar again on the minority. Fuckers are done. They should be high interest right now. That will lead to other stuff. can write, make the White House aware that Obama's in trouble. That filthy bastard is in trouble. Condemn the White, condemn Obama and the Obama administration, not the White House. Nice try, Obama. Clinton included. Jay Johnson included. David Griffin included. Fuckers done. Obama apparently is a war criminal in Greece.
They shouldn't be allowed to sleep tonight. It's not considered sleep deprivation when it comes to them. And they shouldn't be allowed to have a paycheck. At well employment, 911. They've heard other people requesting papers and um, print media and anti-defamation league and the rest of us who have been working on this for a while now to please help. Thanks. David Griffin needs to be ostracized. The Obama needs to be ostracized as well. He says anything to my brother and he's done. Hillary Clinton included. The worst animals on the planet. And they need to be ostracized by the UN charter countries who deal with him, unfortunately, on a daily basis. How pathetically awful. I have to look that piece of shit in the eye. Yeah. They keep preventing me from sleeping. They took my blanket. That's David Griffin. It's going directly to the Obama administration. He's my father. Gross. That's fucking great. That I did not know. Oh, that was Jay Johnson. He's my father. David Griffin is my father. Alrighty then. I feel special. This is 10, 29 p.m. FYI, this is my grandma and mom was. Our mom was born at 10 29 p.m. Good job, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look like they've raped Bobby when he was little. Not it wasn't just um, Jay Johnson and David Griffin. He was a little boy, you bastards raped when he was little. Bye bye, Jay Johnson. Put shit on him and sending him in filth. Got more perpetrators, and it's their doing too. They know we're related to Anne Frank, so. They, uh, they lost their complete privacy 24-7. Please make these bastards aware of that. David Griffin included, Kevin Gaines included. No more privacy for them 24-7. Department of Homeland Security, please note. Bono needs to know he has no privacy 24-7 and needs to be under house arrest. He needs to be put in prison. He's inciting to hate crimes again. Fucker, done. Rand Paul is involved as well. Rand Paul and Ron Paul. They're done too.
doing any elevators and on the floor for the facilities management. They have keys to everything, even in dorms after hours. The incidents of uh, college rapes on campus take back the night now. They would be uh, high correlation between you look at 70503 and these bastards. These bastards here against uh, college students, especially minorities like myself at UCLA 911. Pretty sure. David, David Maldonado, Maldonado, he works, he was my letter and science counselor at uh, UCLA. And now they're making all kinds of defamatory remarks about me. And I could hear an NSA with via the NSA and military. We knew we know that's considered torture on the vets, the good guys. That was my mom, Sergeant Lieutenant Silvia Garcia, 102956. They're in trouble. David. David Maldonado Zapata, David, well, he works at LNS Science, uh, LNS Counselor. He was my counselor 90 and 90 and a few years ago, a long time ago. And he's connected to Diana Almanza at the next door shelter. At the next door shelter, Diana Almanza at 1001 Polk Street, off of Gary at Polk 90409. It's a short little shit, looks just like David Maldonado. He's an LNS counselor at the uh, Murphy Hall here at UCLA 90024. So now they're moving my, my bottom of my feet. I can feel that it hurts like hell. They're using torture technology to uh, mobilize my feet. I can feel it from behind me. 911, they're getting a death penalty for that. I think they're planning something outside on campus, although they want me to keep leaving the Ackerman Union. Locals involved, uh, uh, facilities management, possibly their friends, police. I reported the ones at Denny's. Denny's is involved on, on uh, Tiverton, 911. For the record, I just reported DHS. I just reported Denny's, uh, the OPCC, Santa Monica Police, the library, and David Griffin to ICE.gov 911. They're retaliating. It's worse than retaliation, actually.
Sorry, I'm gonna have a parcel fracture. Worry about bombing 911. Obama doesn't have to say no matter because he is definitely involved. They also refurbish computers and laptops and, and cell phones and the Scientologists and they break the screens and they refurbish and they resell 911. These people are also involved. Scientology, Sunset Boulevard. Well, I know they're involved in that. Veterans are peace with them. Hello? Hello? Call the police. What's that? Call the police. The I'm a, a, oh, like, come on, come on, come on. We, no, don't, no, no. we don't have to do that. Yes, we do. What is your name? Why would you call the police call and you the put police. me? Are you Universal for, for PSC Security? No, I am for... Call the police. This this Ackerman Union, I'm a, I graduated from here. I'm an alumni. It holds it up at 1 a.m. Well, why do we have to do that? Bye-bye. Call the police. I need to report you. Okay.
Yeah, your CPU was the problem with me. Yeah. Not your CPD.
Sí, ya por favor. Me voy a llevar el carrito.
Miss. Mm -hmm. right. uh, what's going on here? They're trying to kick me off illegally from here. How is it illegal, ma'am? It's open to one. I checked online. I don't trespass, and I graduated from here. I'm a UCLA alumna. Mm -hmm. I graduated class of 2003. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can't sleep in here. You're not. That's getting... what this place is for. Place of respite. This place. I'm not getting into detail. Prayer. I'm not getting into detail. May I have your badge number and name, please? Sure. Enjoy, please. Uh, yeah, I'm a he didn't ask me, he seen it for an ID, nothing, and I didn't resent that because I graduated from here. Do you have a brewing card, ma'am? Do I have my brewing card on me? No, I don't. But you can check the UCLA alumni directory. My name is Morelos okay. Sylvia, and I've got my California ID on me. Why don't you ask me for that? Hold on, ma'am. Hold on. Hey, ma'am, listen. Stop getting in your bag. Okay, so let's start here. You're not running this, we are. What is your Understood? name? Yeah, I, I just told you. you my name. I just told you my name. Brock's badge number is 388. How do you spell your first name? Uh, you're not getting my first name. You have all the information that you need. So what you can do is you can tell me your name and your date of birth again. Uh, Morelos, M-O-R-E-L-O-S, uh -huh. date of birth 42074. 42074, what is your first name? Sylvia, S-Y-L-V-I-A. And what is your badge number and name? My last name is Penner, badge number 361. 361, and you're in how to spell your last name? Penner. P E N N E R? That's correct. Okay. It ain't even solved when I put 10. We've talked to you before? Any issues in the past? No. No. Code 10, please. Have you been arrested? I'd rather not answer that question. Yes. Uh, yes. I'd rather not answer that question. Code 1001? I have a legal right not to answer that question. Sorry. Last one out of three. Mary Ocean Robert, Edward Lincoln, Ocean Sam. First, Sam Young Lincoln, Victor Ida Adam, DOB 420, 1974. Female, Hispanic, no ID. I have my ID on me. Okay. Hey, what did I just say? Stop reaching through your bag. They're lying, 911. I have my ID on me. No ID? That's a lie. There you go. And I've got my ATM card. Nice try, though. I don't care about you. That's a lie. I've got my, and you didn't need to throw my Bank of America card on the floor. That's hey, my ID. Uh, I have a Cal ID if you're ready. That's my ID. And you just threw my Bank of America card down. So okay. I don't appreciate it. So you're okay. Where security cameras are around, so I'm, I'm fine. Okay. Good. Copy, okay. So where did you hear the building closes at one? I looked it up online before I showed up on here to make sure it was open. I, I'm a college grad from UCLA. Kathleen, was she issued any warnings, ma'am? Kathleen. Okay, Ms. Okay, Morello. So mm -hmm. we're at a point now where I just ran you and you have a warrant for your arrest. And what does that mean? What, what, what was confusing about that last statement that I just made, ma'am? What is the warrant for my arrest for? Uh, you have a warrant on a traffic citation that you received, or maybe a pedestrian citation. Okay, and what does that, that, what does that mean exactly? That means that you're arrestable for said warrant. Okay. You failed to appear in court, so the judge issued a warrant for you. Okay, so what does that mean exactly? That means that you can be arrested for that warrant. Okay. So what 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 does that mean? What my partner is getting at is you have two options right now: either leave or take you to jail. All right. And may I have some information about the warrant? Because I know what that's about. 
what information do you need me to I need to know what to do about the citation because I tried going to court over that. There is nothing that you can do about the citation. It is gone to warrant, which means that you are arrestable by my partner and I. You right. have two choices at right. this point. I'm not going to argue with you any further. I have better things to do, frankly. So okay. you can either grab all your stuff and we can walk you out okay. or you can go to jail. You May I ask choices. a question? Yes. I requested the presence of the police because I didn't like the way they were handling the situation. Okay, well, we I are the police. That that, okay, that is fine. We are I requested the their presence. Okay. And I here. am a UCLA grad. I graduated from this school. That doesn't mean anything anymore. That so my, mean anything. one more question, why am I getting kicked out? Well, the building is closed. It is closed. Yes. yes. It yeah. says, may I show you something online? No, I don't want to It see says it. 1 o'clock in the morning online. Okay. That's, the, that's why that is why I double checked. Okay, this building is closed. I he didn't just know that. told you that. Okay, because I don't, I asked for the police because I wasn't being For-nice. treated the right way. So I would I want I'd li I wanted to know what the actual. I usually I request police presence because I feel We're safer with the police yes, thank you, as opposed to the security guards. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. So you got us. We're here. Right. So now. So the building is closed. The building is closed. Right. So grab all your things. My stuff was stolen recently. I haven't been in my blanket, my coat. It's freezing outside. All kinds of crap has been happening. I haven't slept. So sleep deprivation. So I haven't slept. And um, that's why I wanted to get some rest. So I saw it online that says 1 a.m. in the morning. Well, I don't. Okay. Well, it's not. So, so I don't have a code. I don't have anything but everything. I had two more bags downstairs, and if it was stolen. I filed some police reports. I can. I can. I can. Uh, that. Stuff, stuff. Right. So I'm getting escorted out because the building is closed. Correct. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Make that clear. So I'm not prohibited. Was, I was not prohibited from coming your back. Grab stuff. Let's go. Okay. I'm not prohibited from coming back because I haven't done anything illegal, not to my knowledge, anyway. Yeah, but I, I requested the police. That doesn't mean anything. The fact that she